Hi, I'm Bonnie Merring from the Free Software Foundation Europe, and I have five minutes to present you packing for freedom to you. This is due to me because I'm a very last, <laughs> late approacher, and yeah, it's a bit of my fault, but I'm very happy the Foster people made this possible for me to present the You Packing for Freedom coding competition to you. So, what's it all about? Well, You Packing for Freedom is a programming competition for teenagers that will come to the eligibility criteria in a second. Basically, you develop your own project in a period of six months, and in those periods, you work on this project by yourself or in a team. You can always ask for help and there are no limitations to the project ideas. We know this is quite a challenge. And we are always happy to help with, com um, with coming up of a project idea and you can always approach us during this time. The only requirement is that it needs to be free software in the end. So you need to publish it under a free software license. We always help with this as well. So if you have questions about licensing, you can always approach us. And yeah, that's basically the idea of Youth Hacking for Freedom. And now I come to the <laughs> eligibility criteria and who can actually participate. I think not all of you are in this age area, but you might know people who are or teachers, so feel free to share the information. Um, yeah, people between 14 and 18 can participate from Europe, not just the EU, you don't need citizenship, you need to live here, so also refugees are welcome to participate. Sadly, we cannot help with hardware in this case, but maybe the local hack space can help out. <laughs> um, and you don't, uh, yeah, as I already said, you don't need to have the European citizenship, so feel free to share this information, as I now see a bit of older faces than 14. Um, and this is where they can register. And you find all this information also on youfackingforfreedom.org. And now about the programming period. It already started for this year, but we will have a next year as well. And we are still open for late registration. So people can actually participate or join us during the whole time of the coding period. Then they just don't have that much time as the others. So, and we know that we take this a bit into account. Um, yeah, and there are already around 90 people who have joined up for this year's coding competition. So usually some of them drop out during the six month period. And yeah, this is how the period looks like. And during this time, we have monthly calls. So we try to give them some input about free software, about how you actually work on projects. There's um, an expert from our jury who tells them more about the whole topic of Git, for example, um, which is quite a lot <laughs> in possession, or how to actually do licensing. So we are always there, we are approachable. And in those um, monthly calls, the teenagers also have the possibility to actually talk to each other in breakout rooms, to chat with each other, and to connect to other young people from all over Europe who are actually also interested in programming and free software which I heard from some participants from the last two um, rounds that this is really an amazing thing because they are actually building friendships all across Europe and then they visit each other and they form teams and they collaborate. So it's really the spirit of free software in it. And yeah, that's one of the things that we offer, monthly calls. Every month we have this and we have, of course, also a lot of other communication channels where they can talk with each other. And yeah, as I already mentioned, we help with legal and licensing questions, general question, motivation. We don't help with the programming, but they are always, oh, we're like, it's free software, so they, in the spirit of free software, it's helpful for them to ask others, and they are welcome to get help if they need it from their teachers, from some other resources. So it's not about they working on their own, and if they are stuck, they are stuck. So we try to help as much as we can. And it's mostly about the fun. It's mostly about this, and this is very important for us, and that's what we try to keep alive with the monthly meetings. Now for the prizes. So <laughs> the, the, this is really important for the youngsters, and I know that. <laughs> 
So as much as there is fun involved and as much there is programming involved, we also have some pretty much nice prices, as I would say. The first place can get 4,000 euros, the second place 2,000, and third to sixth place still get 1,000 euros. Um, there's the, there are three special prices that we award, for example, for um, people from a war zone, people from, um, who are really young and who participate. Yeah, and that's how the jury then um, gives out the prices and evaluates the project after the programming period. <laughs> And that's what I get. And yeah, you can follow us on social media. That's basically it. And I'm pretty much on time. I have one minute for, question, uh, for questions if there is any question. Here's again the registration link. And yeah. No questions? Perfect. I'm at the FSFE booth around there. So if you want to approach me there and get more information, get stickers get posters, um, come to Building K Level 2. Thank you very much.